Thanks to CuriosityStream for supporting PBS Digital Studios. Guess what kind of magnet this is. Wow. Yep. And why on earth would a magnet look like that? I thought you'd never ask. How do you do your intros? What's up, MKBHD? What's up, guys? MKBHD here. You say what's up, guys? Welcome to... What about the girls? What's up, everybody? <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Diana, you're watching Physics Girl, and I'm here in a very special place with um, MKBHD in your studio, your office, your thanks space. Thanks for coming through, yeah. Yeah, thanks so much for having me here. You brought some magnet paper. I did. Which is my new favorite thing. And I know that you already made a little video with magnet paper because I saw it, and I was like, oh, I really wanted to do that with devices. Figured you have like the biggest collection of anybody I know. Small okay. secret, when I got it, that was the first thing I wanted to try, I was just seeing what has magnets in it and what doesn't, I'm excited to see what else we find. So there's dozens, I think hundreds of magnets in the iPad. Yeah. But if you look at the magnets here, they line up with the same magnet array here, and then they just snap right into place. Well, I'm not using the fresh one yet. Okay. I just want to get a sense for like where these are. But then All I'm right. going to let you use the fresh magnet. I'm paper. excited. Yeah. Oh, oh, crazy. That's super cool. This is the one that you already did. Yeah. I remember seeing this array of magnets. Is it time to use the fresh Magnet paper? I would love to. <laughs> Is this what you want to use it on? Sure. You only, you only have, have two. Back? You only have two. Uh, two chances. Choose okay. wisely. I'm gonna pick up this fresh piece. Let's try the back of the Galaxy S10. <laughs> this is like unwrapping a new Never phone. Never been used before. Oh, that is nice. Where did that? That was not on the front, was that it? That is nice. Yeah, that was the one we saw on the front. It was just a lot. Oh, it's just a lot more visible. Um, I know in the iPhone there's a much larger haptic engine, is what Apple calls it, mm. which is a vibration motor, than in many other phones. All right, so there's clearly okay. some magnets in the bottom there. That looks very similar to the speakers on the last phone. Top of the magnet <laughs> paper to the top of the Is iPhone. This That's pretty good. <laughs> it's awesome. So there is your earpiece speaker. I think if you ask most people where they thought the speaker was, they would just point to the grill. When the grill is in one place, mm -hmm. the actual driver isn't exactly behind it, so it'll kind of use this resonance chamber and eventually make its way out the side or oh, front of the phone. that's so cool. Magnet paper, or magnet film, shows you where magnetic fields are. But how? Yeah, so with one magnet, um, you just get kind of like a single pattern. With a single simple magnet, the north and south poles of the magnet show up dark and the middle of the magnet is bright because there's actually metal floating in the middle of the paper. The film is made of an oily substance with a bunch of tiny pieces of nickel in it sandwiched between two pieces of plastic. So basically it's laminated sticky oil with metal flakes. The oil holds the nickel flakes essentially in place, but they can still twist and turn, which is the key. You know how there's that demo where you can take iron filings and they line up with magnetic field lines around a magnet? And also how fluids that have iron in them will line up with the magnetic field lines? Keep that in mind. So I'm gonna suggest that you hold them so that they don't fly away. Cool, they might fly away if I don't <laughs> no, hold they them. they won't fly away. Don't fly away. Whoa. Fields. <laughs> Are you seeing that? Oh yeah, I'm seeing That's it. Are you seeing that? Weird. Don't know how to feel. <laughs> you should feel excited and pumped because it's I'm science. I'm learning. Yeah. I'm definitely learning. That is crazy though. Isn't that cool? Wow. Ferrofluid lines up with these imaginary magnetic field lines, and in the same way, the nickel pieces in our magnet paper will line themselves up with field lines. On the sides, the nickel stands upright, and on the top, it lies flat. And where it lies flat, the nickel reflects light like a mirror, so it looks brighter. On the sides, it'll look dark. So both the dark and light parts are part of the magnetic field. They just show us where the magnetic field is pointing perpendicular or parallel to the paper. Which means, sadly, we can't tell north from south, but you can tell where the magnets are even when you can't see them. So let me jump to this refrigerator magnet already. Wow. And yep. why on earth would a magnet look like that? I thought you'd never ask. This is a plain old refrigerator magnet, and most of them look like this. This is where magnets get weird, that this is obviously one magnet. I've got another one, so I can show you it's not a trick. What? Same thing. If That's you rotate lines. it, do, do the lines rotate? Yeah, they sure do. That's Well, I could crazy. also rotate the magnet, but yeah. 
This is a special kind of magnet called a Halbach array. The magnetic field on these magnets is designed specially so that you can feel the magnet on one side, but not on the other. So you get like really not much. Very faint. Yeah. Yeah. Very faint, and then on this side, the lines come through really clearly. The way you get a magnetic field on one side and not the other is by making the magnetic field do something like this. You get a north here, south here, and back and forth. And you make them by taking a mix of rubber to make them flexy and iron to make them magnetizable. You magnetize them by heating them, applying a magnetic field to the material, and cooling them down. They usually only become demagnetized if you heat them up, except... Put the magnet paper over this magnet. What? So, so, okay. Because I've been making you predict all along like a scientist. What do you think happened to that one? That's so... I don't know how it turns into this. I have I'll no idea. I'll show you what happened. Oh. Uh, wow. Yeah. So now take that magnet off and look again. Okay. <laughs> Put it very far Shelf. away. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's all it took. Yep. Mm -hmm. So either you need to heat up the magnet to change the magnetic field, or you need a magnet that's just like way stronger. I'm gonna bring this magnet closer. Can you see those lines? Whoa, yeah. Yeah, so I'm actually like affecting the magnetic field of this magnet huh. with this one, because it's so strong. And if you get it close enough, it'll affect it permanently, and it'll stay sort of warped. Wow. Yeah, that's oh, so cool. It's like playing a guitar. Yeah. A magnet guitar. <laughs> yeah, but then you get it too close. Yeah, and then it... And then it'll permanently stay. <laughs> That's crazy. Thanks. Thanks for teaching me. Thanks for getting excited about, about the science. Cool. Oh, at the end of my videos, I usually say happy physicsing. Like, ha like okay. sciencing, like yes. I'm gonna science, but instead it's just physics. Got Are you it. down to say that? I'm down. Happy, happy physicsing. physicsing. Thanks to CuriosityStream for supporting PBS. CuriosityStream is a subscription streaming service that offers documentaries and nonfiction titles from a variety of filmmakers, including CuriosityStream originals. For example, they have Exploring Quantum History with Brian Greene, a title that explores the origin of one of the most unusual areas of physics. You can learn more about CuriosityStream at curiositystream.com slash physicsgirl.